normally when we write a swift program we use the default print function uh, to know what to see on a particular case maybe a variable's data or response from the server there is no problem with using it but we use a different approach for better usability and functionality we use a custom logger class with predefined function so let me tell you why we do that so here is a picture you can see that and instead of using print function directly we use a custom logger class so i will uh, give you the definition later so here you see that in this flowchart that there is a program a program b program c and all of these program files maybe in our application are using this logger class and their method so what is the benefit of this so before doing that so let's let me show you that how we define a logger function so first we define a class logger okay so uh, normally in our application sometimes we use firebase but i commented it out so that it run in here because i do not install the firebase uh, library in this application for demonstration purpose so this logger class is a singleton class so that means only one instance will exist throughout the life cycle of the running app and you see here that using static keyword we defined a shared uh, variable where we are initiating this uh, logger class so that means when you uh, will use logger.shared it will just give you one instance so here is the file and you see there is a function i define that debug print with some parameters so i will describe this later so let me write some uh, code in this on appear method in a swift ui application so first i will write logger shared then uh, debug print and hello world simple okay then i will use logger shared uh, debug print and in this case i will use an array a b c now i may want to uh, print a log information also save the data in a remote server in that case i will use logger dot share dot debug print and then i will use uh, for example log it in the in the server in the server and remote log true in the third case fourth case i will use logger share dot pretty print and in this case i will also pass an array a b c and finally i will use logger share dot log event in this case i may write event name is content view and maybe another event first screen and in this case i do not pass any parameter so if i run this application you see here is the output we are seeing the in the first case we are seeing hello world and there is a third bucket uh, content view dot swift is the file name and the line number it is showing in the second case also we are seeing the array and the line number third case same and in the uh, fourth case the pretty pint we are seeing a nice looking ui so this is how we can use this logger class so one of the good principle to follow in software deployment is to log all your apps data through one function or class so in this case we are using this logger class okay you can think this is a wrapper class behind the scene we are using the print function here in the definition of the debug print function you will see that we are using the print function but as we are using a wrapper we can customize or even save the log report on the remote server so here is some parameters right you see that uh, this extra parameter and because of this extra parameter when we use this logger class and function we are getting this extra information like con which is the file name and which is the file number where this function is called so in our actual application development when many developers work and some log data print on the console we can also know which files line number is responsible for the log data it is easier to find in source code and debug right 
so if you see the code in the debug print here you will see there are uh, beside this message there are some extra parameters so what is this for so the first one uh, the first one is the message the string data or any data you can pass and the second one is the extra one and here you will see a predefined uh, a uh, predefined keyword like hash file so if you use a hash file and if you call this function from another file it will give you the file name from where the function is called for the second case this is a function hash function so if you need the calling function name you can use this parameter but recently we removed this from the function as we do not use uh, the in our application and the third case you see there is a hash line so by this one we are getting the line number where the function is called and finally here you will see there is an extra parameter remote log uh, by default it is false but if we pass true and you see in this uh, debug print i commented some code basically if remote log is true suppose in our application you are uh, debugging some data but you want to save the data in your remote server for further analysis uh, in that case you can write any code here within this point so that you can save the data remotely in your server okay so but in this case it is just commented out to run the application and another thing is that there is a pretty function you see here when we use this pretty fun pretty print basically we are using a, a a predefined or built-in function dump and if you use this you will see that the array data or json data if you if a response coming from the server that will be shown very nicely this will give you the very nice looking output so this is how we are basically uh, using logger class in our production application in our company's application so that we can uh, debug the data and can see that where the thing is uh, happening okay so i hope it helps you to understand that why we need a custom logger class for our application